Good morning, friends. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. And it's like 7.30 in the morning. The girls just left on the school bus. And I have to go get some gas and uh, do a couple of thingamajigs. So I thought I'd start my day with you guys and uh, see how many things we can get checked off that list if you watched my video from yesterday. Because it's Thanksgiving uh, prep day number two. Okay guys, I'm into Papa's house. He's not here right now. I seen him walking when I was driving in town. I just realized I have a meeting here in town at nine o'clock. So I looked really disheveled. So I'm gonna try to straighten myself up a little bit <laughs> before I go there. But I had a coffee on my way in. I stopped and got a Sisabu coffee and he should be back any minute now. But uh, yeah, it's a cool day out. I think it was like three above zero. Um, I had frost on my window and it was still pretty dark out when the girls got caught the bus. So, oh, the season's changing. You can totally feel it day by day. But he called me yesterday and I got a parcel. Tracy at Nova Scotia Living. So it doesn't say who it's from. I don't know whether it's from a company or what. So we'll open that today and see, uh, see what's shaking. But for now, I'm going to try to pretty myself up a little bit <laughs> and um, just have a little visit with my dad. It's only 8.12. I'm going to text my husband because he's still home to say that I'm going to be a little later. Usually I'd be on my way back home now, but yeah, not today, not today. We'll get to that list. We'll start on that list today, just not as soon as I thought. Okay, friends, I just left my dad's. It's about quarter after nine. I got a call to go over to the meeting, and it's starting to rain out, and it's cold rain, because it's still only like four or five degrees, and yeah, it's chilly, chilly, chilly to the bone, but, um, yeah, I had a nice visit with my dad. He's going on his trip tomorrow, so I gave him a big old hug. And he gave me some pictures of my uh, ancestors and stuff that, like, from my mom's side, he found. So it's neat. Um, the names and stuff aren't written on all the photos, but on some of them there are, like, my grandfather and my great grandmother and, and things like that. So it was neat just to sit there and talk to him about that. But anyways, yeah, let's get this meeting over with because I want to start start with my day, you know, get some stuff done. And yeah, I got stuff to do. So, all right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, 20 after 10 and the meeting is done. And it's raining pretty hard out now. I am chilled to the bone. I need to put a sweater on when I get home, but yeah, now we can finally go home and try to tack or tick some of that stuff off my list. I'm just going to tackle this easy stuff. I was hoping to try to do the steps and the landing upstairs today, but I won't. I'll do that tomorrow. But I'll do the baseboards today and wash the inside downstairs windows. Um, things like that, so... I don't know if there's stuff I need from town, but I just want to get home. <laughs> I just want to get home. I'm cold and I'm tired and I want to start my day. Whew. All right, so I'll fill you in when we get there. I brought that parcel home and uh, I just seen co an ex co worker over there at the bus stop. Hey, Charles. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'll check you when we get home. Well, it's 10 after 2. I've been busy trying to knock stuff off my list. Here's some before and after pictures. So, yeah, I had a mountain of laundry to do. So I did that. I pulled that chair out. I swept and mopped under there, vacuumed out here. Um, and Maze is just finishing a sandwich. The girls should be home soon. Haven't done a whole lot out here except for vacuum this morning or when I got back. Uh, let me see here. 
that big box of movies if you've seen yesterday that's gone and the stuff that was cluttering up this corner right here is all cleared away so I was gonna do it tomorrow but I think I'm gonna try to bring up some of the dishes from the from storage like the platters and wine glasses and stuff and just put it all out on this table so I can see what I still need and um, what I have already so that's what I'm gonna do my husband just left to go to work a little while ago and yeah it's a, a cold it's still a cold rainy day out there but that's okay so I'm feeling pretty good just getting these little tedious things done that it's easy to stick stuff in a corner or in this corner and just pile clean laundry here but I sat down and actually folded it and put it all away I know I could have waited till the girls got home but I wanted to get one to tackle it and it be done with um, I have more laundry to wash about two laundry baskets full but I'm not going to tackle that today I want to uh, yeah start fishing some of that stuff up from the storage and tomorrow I'll try to get it all washed because tomorrow's Wednesday already oh my goodness this week is flying by uh, that meeting this morning and I almost had to go to Halifax tomorrow for another appointment but I, I don't have to so that's good it'd be an awful lot of arrangements and, and things like that so uh, I got that sorted and I I know I told you I was ordering some stuff off of Wish. I didn't show you all the stuff, but I ordered some clothes and stuff for my trip. And I've gotten it, but they don't fit properly. Like some of the stuff, it seems okay. It's just, it doesn't fit like it should fit. So um, I tackled that. I have like six items to return. I've never returned anything from there. I don't know if it's going to be as easy as it seemed to be with the app to return it and contact it. They want you to send a picture of it, so I took a picture with my phone and attached it to my refund request. I haven't got any uh, response back yet, but I just did that a little while ago. And I put all the stuff I want to return in a bag and put it in the laundry room so it doesn't get messed around with other stuff that I have here. So hopefully, hopefully that goes as easy as the app seemed to make it. But I'll let you know on that front. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have to pay for shipping. Because that's the thing with Wish. Um, the prices are good, but you have to pay the shipping. So that's where they get you. And um, so, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm just going to sit down for a minute. And um, I might get the girls to do the baseboards when they get home. I'll give them a, a rag with some vinegar and water on it. And they can zip around and do the baseboards for me. So that's another thing I can check off my list. When I go in for my afternoon run... I also want to stop to Canadian Tire and get one of those, I'm not a big fan of plastic, but one of those three plastic shelves with the drawers. I think one of them would fit under our bathroom sink. Instead of having all the hair brushes and stuff in a tub on top of the counter, I could have a drawer for hair accessories and elastics and brushes and creams and uh, things like that. Another one for face cloths or um, another one for like the clippers we use on the guy's hair and hair dryer and all that kind of stuff so they're on sale this week so I might try to stop and get one a regular $39.99 on for $17.99 so I'll see I'll stop to the store and see if uh, if it'll fit I think it will but that'll enable me to declutter my bathroom countertop there's not a whole lot of stuff on there it's just over in that far corner I have a white tub with all the hair stuff jumbled in it and it just looks like a hot mess and if I can clear it off, I'll clear it off. So anyways, yeah, when I start bringing that stuff up, I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm dealing with. All right, guys, I brought up some of it. Some of it's up in the attic, so I'm just going to deal with this today. So I brought up two of the turkey roasters. Well, I brought up three and then this big beast. I love it. My mom gave it to me. This is a flatware set my mother-in-law gave us years and years ago I use it every year I have another set um, in the laundry room here's some of my decanters my water decanters must be upstairs this is what I like to put carrots in and a punch bowl just a minute guys the phone's ringing that's okay Mace. I brought up a turkey platter and this is 
I don't know if it fits in one of these or not. It was just down there. I brought up some of these plastic Halloween bowls for chips and stuff. I have more if I need them. Uh, here's some extra uh, random water glasses I like to use, and I like to use this too. So, yes, I have a bunch of wine glasses in the kitchen, just a minute. way up here. Um, and I have some more in storage, so I'm gonna wash those tomorrow too. I'll have to wash those by hand, along with the big roasters and uh, platters and things like that. I mean, I'm not gonna bother trying to stick those in the dishwasher. It'll just take up so much space and waste water. So yeah, I'm feeling good. I got that. At least started on that. That's that's a big leg of the trip of preparing for a meal. Um, using stuff you don't use all the time. Even if you have it wrapped up and in, in a box, it still gets dusty and stuff. So I like to have it all sparkly clean when it's time to eat. So I need to run upstairs. My brother-in-law is stopping here for a second. He's coming to pick something up. So I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm in the van again. It's, uh, it's only like four o'clock, but I have a few errands to do. My teenager's home. Um, I just heated up leftover barbecue pork for supper. I had two pieces. Um, like those pork fillet, like there, there's no bone in it and I don't know, like pork loin sliced up, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, the kids had that and some tomatoes and cucumbers and uh, some corn. So they had an early supper because they were hungry, of course. And I have to swing over to Medea's and drop off Evie's Tylenol from yesterday. And I don't know what it's called. It's like a little nose sucker that you get the snot out of his nose if he's really stuffy. I don't know how to do it, but um, she didn't ask for it. You know, like, she's not waiting for it, but I just want to get it over there just in case he needs it. And I need to go to Frenchie's to look for baby girl's snowsuit because it's getting cold out now, and when they play outside, you know, she's getting bigger to toddle around. Um, she needs something warm to play in. And I know it's not really snowsuit weather, but it's heavy fall jacket weather. And I'd rather just get a one piece snowsuit if possible. Um, because little ones can't tell you that they're cold. So I'd rather her be nice and toasty playing outside in the cold fall air and it'll be all good. And also, what else do I have to do? Oh, I want to stop to the Dollarama. And oh, I forgot my shopping list. Just to see if there's anything there I can pick up for the Thanksgiving dinner. I'm gonna pick up the cake mix and the icing there. And if they have the little Halloween um, cupcake liners, I'll get them there too. That's something the kids can make all by themselves. It's not hard to do at all. And it's cheaper there than anywhere else. And I was gonna think, I was gonna see if they have any um, crushed pineapple there. They might, I really don't know. They have a bunch of canned stuff there. I don't generally buy there, but if they have crushed pineapple, I'll get it there. Why not, right? So anyways, I'll be back in a little while and let you know how I'm doing. I just wanted to show you, well this is the best section, but the leaves are all starting to turn now. Like it's cool enough that they're starting to turn and it looks so beautiful. I just love it. Well, I just ran into Frenchies, picked up a couple things. I'll show you when I get home. And now I'm going to stop to the Dollarama and pick up a few things there if I can. I, I might get some hats and mitts there if they if they have some too, just because, yeah, yes, this morning it was really cold and it's just going to get colder from here on out, right? And I know they're not going to be the highest quality ones, but just for a quick little slip them on. Frenchies is a great place to get that kind of stuff too. It's just I don't have time to go fishing around in there right now. So, yeah, let's keep on moving. All right, guys, it's 10 to 6. I just got home and look what I got home to. My husband made a fire. And Mally's Halloween costume came. This came from Wish. Seems to be good. It's way too big for me, but... <laughs> she wants to be Pikachu. But yeah, my husband made a fire. First fire of the season. Boy, I love that smell in the house. Nice, nice. It's going to be piping hot in here, but it is cold outside. It really is. So I'm going to start uh, doing some baby time with the babies. I designate this time to, you know read some stories and wash them up and all that kind of stuff and uh, then I'll show you what I got in town so yeah I picked up some goodies at Frenchies I did stop to that Canadian Tire that three drawer thing 
I thought was on sale for that price was not the thing. It was an under bed one. Um, I just got the, I got mixed up, so I didn't bother getting it. So, oh well, I'll figure something out. All right, it's 20 after 6. I'm feeling like I want to start on some, washing some of those dishes out on the dining room table, but I got to clear the counter off. Those, I'm going to fill up with water and put them on the back of the wood stove. And these are the dirty supper dishes. I'm going to start that up. So just to clear this off, wipe my cameras, and then start washing some of the Thanksgiving. All right, I'm filling up the sink. Got my new rubber gloves. I'm going to wash all the plastic stuff first, and then move on to the glassware, and I'll finish off with the roasters and stuff like that. Then I'll start my dishwasher. All right, friends. Well, I washed a whole bunch of stuff. All those. Oh, this is dirty trays and my punch bowl and my turkey roasters, my glass uh, decanters and the punch glasses. These are other little punch glasses. I don't have the matching bowl. I just got the cups, but it's hard to see the little pumpkin faces. Can you see that? Kind of. So that's all the washing I'm doing tonight. I might, if, I, if I'm ambitious, empty this dishwasher later and put some of those wine glasses in there and do it on the gentle cycle. I've done that before and they turn out fine. But I just went grocery shopping in my deep freezer and I took out a ham. I'm going to have to get another one of those. I took out a turkey. It's only a small one that I have so I'm going to have to get a big massive one for when I cook. I'm going to cook one on Friday and I'm going to cook one on Saturday but I'll let this defrost for a couple of days in the fridge. Um, and I found this cheese that I had in there. I knew I had cheese. I just didn't know how much. So I have some mild cheddar, some mozzarella, medium cheddar, mild marble cheddar, Swiss cheese, and it's white cheddar. I thought I had a Havarti one out there. Mm, I'll have to go look. But yeah, I'm going to put these in the fridge too to defrost, so I'm going to use this for my mac and cheese. So yes, I'm going to put these in um, something I can put in the fridge so when it defrosts the juice don't drip down in my fridge but uh, yeah we'll clear this off and then I'll show you my goodies I got okay friends well, I got that stuff put away the fire's still blazing it's nice and toasty in here it's not too too hot it's just right usually I'd be complaining because I'm not a big heat person but it feels good it feels good yeah, anyways, let me jump right in. <clears throat> what I got at the dollar store. So first things first, I bought two, two of this size little containers for leftovers or for um, like when I chop up the onions a day ahead of time, I can put them in something like this and put them in the fridge. And they're stackable, which is good. I have a bunch of little ones, but I wanted some medium-sized ones. I got two of these, too. They're just stacked on top of one another. See? These ones can fit in those awkward spaces that go in that way. So, just being proactive. I bought some napkins. Oh, just a minute. All right, guys, sorry. The Mosiah came down and wanted me to help her with her book. I just got one of my husband's Zevias. Black cherry, I think. Because uh, I wanted something cold to drink, and this is in the fridge. So I'm going to have one of his drinks. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm more of a water drinker, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I got napkins. I got these ones because... I want to try to fold them a certain way, and I think these ones will fold better. And then I got extra ones just for extra napkins, you know what I mean? The ones that I fold a certain way that stand up, kind of like a crown, uh, will go on the tables, and these will just be on the camera or whatever for when people need them. I got some black spider webs, because that's what I like to put in my bathroom with spiders. Um, so, I finally found some black spider webs. I haven't been able to find them the past couple of years. I got, oh, let me grab some of this. A cake mix for the Halloween cupcakes we're going to make. 
Those are the little cupcake liners and little sign things to poke in them. I did find pineapple tidbits. I usually buy crushed pineapples, but I'll try these. If I need to blitz them in my thing, I can. It's not a big deal, but they were only a uh, dollar. So, got two of those. And I got some Stevia individual packets for my trip to France. I'm sure we'll have, they have that there, but I'll have it with me, so I'm going to have to go searching for it. If I like to put one in my coffee, I bought two mineral waters, carbonated waters. They're only a dollar. I'll drink those suckers up. If those have been in the fridge now, um, I would have drank those. I got a thing of whipped icing. I can make my own icing, I can make my own cupcakes and cake, but I have a lot of stuff to make and I just wanted to keep it simple and the kids are gonna are gonna do that. So, so yeah, that's in that bag. I bought a bag of these for the kids' lunches because I pack up this and some salsa sometimes. I bought I still haven't got around to making a Halloween craft box like I do at Christmas time, but that's okay. I did buy these for the house so the kids can use them, just like a coloring book, a Halloween one. Another one. This one has little paint in it, Paw Patrol. And a Halloween Minion one. I thought those were cute. They had a bunch of other ones there, but I didn't want to grab a whole bunch. Um, I can cross some of this stuff off my list. I got some scoop spoons. I got four of them because I don't have very many. I have like wooden spoons and spatulas and just a couple of serving spoons and they're haggard looking. So I thought I'll get these ones. They were $1.50 each. I'll, I should have washed those up tonight, but whatever. Oh, those rubber gloves I washed the dishes with were from the dollar store too. Uh, Bought two things of tin foil to wrap stuff up. And I bought this. I thought it was cute. It's four dollars. It's a candle holder. It's a hand. I have a hand out there. I think it's a mummy hand. I got it years ago, but this was at the dollar store and it was so pretty with the fingernails. So that'll be on one of the Thanksgiving tables with one of those tea lights in it. Yeah, I thought that was cute. That's what I got at the dollar store. I'll show you what I got at Frenchies. So I was trying to find a snowsuit, a one piece one for little Missy here, but they didn't have any. There's a Bethany bin here in town, but it was closed by the time I went to town. That's where I donate clothes and you can just go and donate stuff. Um, and there's a Salvation Army here in town too, so I want to check there because it doesn't hurt to have two or three things when you have toddlers playing outside in the mud and all that stuff. But I got her a, a little jacket. Of course, it had to be white. That's the only one I could find. But I don't care if she gets it filthy dirty. It's something that'll keep her warm uh, and dry. She can muck it up all she wants. It's fine. Same with these little snow pants. They're too long for her, but I rolled them up. Um, so it'll be a white jacket, little pink, uh, purple snow pants, and I ended up getting stuff for the boys here too. Uh, this winter jacket, which pretty soon they can start wearing that as it gets colder. I'll wash this up. I thought it was, it's nice and thick and, you know, it's a good one, good one. Uh, and... Let's see. I got some snow pants to match it. It didn't come together, but it's the navy blue like on the jacket. That's perfect for a little boy here. Uh, and this one would be good for winter. Um, maybe not playing out in the snow so much, but if we're going out, you know, going for a drive or just walking outside or whatever. It's good and heavy and thick. So, yeah. Another winter jacket. All the stuff at Frenchies, I think it came to $26, and that's 
way cheaper than it would cost to get a brand new snowsuit for one child. Uh, I got little boots for Miss Little Missy. I haven't tried them on her. They might be a smidge big. I don't know. We'll see. And I couldn't resist this. This a Halloween costume. <laughs> it's a little devil. A little devil ballerina thing. It comes with a little dress and some tights. So maybe little Missy could be that. Yeah, I thought that was cute. Still had the tags on it and everything. Regular $15.97. So, yeah. I thought that was pretty good. Pretty good. So, yeah. Oh, that parcel I got uh, while I was in town. That's out in the van. I'll have to run out and get that in just a second. Oh, where's my clipboard? I can cross some of that stuff off my list. Yeah, if you see my video yesterday, you know all the lists that I need. I need to, I can cross the pineapple off and the cake mix. Where is that? Hmm. Oh, that's, where is it? Did I not write that on here? Cream cheese? I don't think I did, so I'm going to write it on just so I can mark it off. I do that sometimes. Do you guys do that on your list? Because it feels so good. Icing. Cross, cross. <clears throat> Maze is out there hollering. Hooting and hollering. And what did we do down? What did I do down here? Um, yes. We didn't get the baseboards done. I washed the wine decanters. I still haven't found my water decanters. I'm thinking the day I might have them. I looked up in the attic and I didn't see them, but we'll see. I got the carrot terrine, the electric buffet. I washed that. I got the silverware up, but it's not washed yet. Uh, Tablecloths, nope. Platters, yes. Serving trays. Tin foil. Tupperware. Yeah bit by bit. So doing those dishes tonight, I wasn't planning on starting to wash those dishes until tomorrow. But that's a nice big chunk off. I still have more stuff to wash, but <clears throat> that that stuff I won't have to do. That stuff's all done. I'm going to let it sit there overnight and let it dry. And then I'll I'll put it on a, you know, on the clean surface out on the dining room and just cover it with a clean tablecloth or something like that so no dust or anything gets on it. But just a minute, I'll run out to the van and get that parcel and I'll see what it is. I don't even know what it is. I have no idea. So, all right. Yeah, it's nice coming in from outside. How it's cold out there into a toasty, toasty kitchen. So yeah, it says fragile or fragile on it. And Golden Palace Restaurant is on the box so we'll see gotta be careful I don't want to cut into anything ah. oh my goodness they have it taped up that's for sure like Fort Knox Maybe I should have got a better knife. Hmm. There. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, here's a letter here. Let me just quickly look at it. Let's see if it's okay to read it. Well, let's see what's in here because she says what's in here and um oh my battery died guys all right let's see here this is from my friend carrie um yes thank you carrie let me see Ooh. 
This is for me off camera. So this one I can read. Okay. So it says, well, I gotta show you. Well, let me read it. Hello, Tracy and family. Knowing you guys love Halloween and books, enclosed are a couple of McDonald Happy Meal books for the kids and Skull Bowl. That must be what that is. I thought the black ones for the girls and the white one for me, so there's no fighting. Good call, Carrie. Good call. Believe me. But you do what you want, Mama. Just enjoy. I hope they arrive okay. Happy Halloween. Love, Carrie. And look at the border she has on her letter. It's all Halloween themed. I love it. Love, love, love it. Hurry up, Franklin. Franklin's a favorite. And Hocus Pocus. Awesome. I will read these with the littles and the girls if they want to listen, but for those that don't know, I have a house full of kids, so I don't always talk about all the kids in the house because they're not all my kids, they just live here. So, uh, yes, we love stories in this house, we love stories. We like to make up stories and read stories and try to spark our imagination and grow our imagination every day. I can't wait to see this, I'm excited. And this is perfect timing, Carrie. I'll be having, well, let me look at it, but I'll be having this on display for my Thanksgiving dinner. Yes, I will. Well, if you wrap this, you did a great job because there's layers and layers of bubble wrap. I can give that to the girls, too. They love popping bubble wrap. Let's see here. Oh, there, there's... I was wondering what you meant by the three black ones and the white one. There are four bowls in here. So yes, the littles like these books. Do you know what I'll do with these? Next time we have another Halloween movie night, we'll have some snacks and these. Oh my goodness, I've never seen these before. Let me dig them all out. There's three black ones and one white one. You see, it's a skull. A skull little bowl, like that. I'm still going to use these for Thanksgiving. Um, we'll put something in it, like I could put pickles, 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 all spread across the table. And I could use these for Halloween get-togethers, or a Halloween movie night, or even just a Halloween supper all through October. They could have some snacks in this. When I make the little trays for lunchtime with tomatoes and sandwiches and stuff, I could put them right in this. This is fantastic. I love it. They're going to love this. They're going to think it's so cool. Look at that. So neat. So neat. Just wait a minute, Maze. i got to open the gate. Maze is just coming out. He's in his jammies now. Are you coming out? Come here. Come see what we got. Our friend Carrie sent us something. Come over here and sit on my lap. Look at this letter she wrote us. Look at all the little pictures on there. What are some of the pictures? A Halloween hose. Yeah. And silk. Yeah, what's that? And candy and candy. You don't like candy. Yeah. You do? Yeah, and scout and a pumpkin and a hat and a gold box and a pumpkin. And a There's a whole bunch, isn't there? And it says Happy Halloween. And another one. <clears throat> and a middle one of them and a little skeleton and then more candy. And Too much candy. I mean, uh, and pumpkin and candy and scale. Yes. Look what else she sent us. She sent us some books. Yeah. Yeah. This one's Franklin. Hurry up, Franklin. Sounds like me in the morning. Hurry up, girls. And this one's called Hocus Pocus. I wonder if it's like the movie. Yeah. Maybe. But what we bubble? Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap and. This one, what, um, what? She 
she sent you guys each balls. Look, it's like a skeleton head. Yeah. There's three black ones for the girls, and you get to have the skeleton skeleton one. No, I want the black one. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see. So much for fighting. We'll see. One of the girls wouldn't mind switching. A big, oh. a big bubble wrap. Yeah, big bubble wrap. What do you think we can eat in these bowls, Maze? Uh, candy. Candy? Yeah. It's, think of something better. It's sweet. Sweets? Yeah. How about cucumber? Uh, cucumber. Mm -hmm. And some cheese and crackers and pepperoni. And cheese and pepperoni. Macaroni. That's all of it. Yeah. What should we say to Carrie? Thank you. Say thanks, Carrie. Thank you. Don't put it in your mouth. I just want to bite it. No, you can step on it. Put it on the ground and step on it. Yes? Yeah. Try to put no, not in your mouth. Pop it with your feet. It'll make some popping noises. Stomp on it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> It just popped. Yeah. Do it again. Woo! Sounds like fireworks to me. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this is a Thanksgiving Day prep number two. I know it's not really making anything, but I'm getting through stuff. My house is looking clean. I want to try to tackle upstairs tomorrow. Um and get the rest of the dishes all ready to rock so tomorrow will be a lot of that kind of stuff going on thursday and friday is when i'll really kick it into high gear oh take it, take it out there and show the girls take it out there and show the girls are they downstairs well mally's down there you'll have to do it on the wood part though not on the carpet Yeah, Thursday and Friday I'll kick it into high gear and um, really start getting stuff done um, in regards to the meal prep and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm glad I had a turkey. I couldn't remember if I had one and I'm glad I had a ham and I'm glad I had that cheese. So it's all stuff that I can take off my list that I don't have to go buy and I'm using stuff off of my freezer, which is great. Um, I still have a lot of stuff to buy, but you know, that takes the edge off certainly does but I think I'm gonna end it here I'm gonna put another log on the fire and uh, put this stuff away but I want to say peace love and happiness today and every single day please like share and subscribe if you so choose but if not that's okay too I still love you I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there I certainly do I really really do so yeah tomorrow I need a tack down and really accomplish a lot on that task list and prep list in regards to my house not so much the food like I said um, and if possible maybe get some grocery shopping done I'm not sure uh, we'll see so you're cold Mally just came in here standing in front of the fire see these skull bowls our friend Carrie sent to us do you want the black one or the white one Black one. I want a black one. You want a black one? Okay. Oh, well, I'll ask Misha and Maziah which one, you know, if they want a black one or a white one. What are they? For? I want well, a black put, one. Uh, you can put two snacks black in it. Ones. I'll use it for Thanksgiving for pickles or something ones. like that. There's two black ones. There's three black ones. Oh. Well, we don't got three. No. <clears throat> That's a cute hand candle holder, isn't it? It's not a toy maze. They've seen it. Oh, I want to hold it. Just a minute. Mally's looking at it. I'm showing them. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. So, yeah, I'm getting more and more excited. My excitement for Thanksgiving's starting to overpower me in regards to my excitement for my trip, which is a good thing. That's what I'm trying to do because I'm still very excited about my trip, but I'm now more focused on, you know, the holiday, which usually that's all I think about this time of year. It's just I have so much going on this month. I, uh, I, you know. 
I haven't been able to focus on one thing. Mally, let me see it now, please. Yeah. They're fighting over that little candle holder hand. But Carrie, I don't know. I'm gonna look at that box because I know I this September I wanted to start back on my letters and return, or my um, I'm gonna send out Christmas cards to all you guys that have sent me, uh, woo, sent me letters and cards over the years over the year. Um, I've been saving all your addresses. I don't know if your address is on here. North Augusta, Ontario, is where the Canada Post stamp is. Oh no, you're scaring me. Yeah. So Carrie, if you're watching this, can you um, email me your address so I can have your address book? I don't know if I have your address or not. Oh, maybe it's in this. Yeah, maybe it's in this. So if it's not in here, can you email me your address so I know? I know. Oh, Misha's down here now. You're not feeling the greatest, are you? No, come see what Carrie sent us. We're just waiting on Mazai's presence now. She sent us a couple of books. But look at these cool uh, skull bowls. What one do you like the best? The white one. You want the white one? I want the, that black. Okay. There we go. Problem solved. So, yeah, that one looks like a really skeleton head. Don't you think? Yeah. And that's the only white one. It is, yeah. Colin yeah. books. Yeah, I got some for the house, so... We'll look at those tomorrow, okay? We will look at them. You can look at them, but you're not doing them today, okay? Yeah. Why? All right, guys. I've already said my peace, love, and happiness. Okay. But, uh, yeah, you guys have a good night or a good morning. And uh, you want to come over here and say goodbye to these guys? No. Misha's not not feeling tip-top, so we'll have to see how she does tonight. What is this? On in regards to her her skin rash thing, it's doing awesome. It's almost all the way gone, so it's good. But all the right. neck one's gone. The neck one's gone, yeah. But not up here. No, it's getting there though. It's getting there. All right, guys. Well, I got stuff to do, and I want to have a good night's sleep, and I hope you do too, or a good morning. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>